This video is part one of explaining how the refrigerator works and the issues they may have. This is going to be about the defrost system. I appreciate you guys following and liking and subscribing to my channel. See y'all in the video. Guys, this is what we have here. This is your defrost thermostat. It sets over here on your evaporator. That. This is your defrost heater. Okay. You got two ends that plug into this defrost heater. What happens is, this is your defrost system on your refrigerator, okay? When a uh, refrigerator is iced over, and that back panel that I took off a while ago, normally you'll see a lot of ice on it. Generally what's happening is, is for one, if the customer says that fridge is not cooling properly and uh, you know stuff is still freezing over here well you know that's what you're gonna have because what happens is which I'll show you in a picture is this evaporator will frost up so bad that it would choke out the airflow that's supposed to circle around it to make uh, cool the other side okay sometimes what will happen is is this evaporator fan motor that sets right here they'll go bad and uh, they're supposed to be running when your compressor's running. And uh, sometimes they'll still run without the compressor running. But you know that when your compressor's running and this fan's not going, then you know that it's dead. You can also get your meter and check voltage on it. But your defrost system here, this heater, what this heater does, it circles around this evaporator. And it, when it gets into the defrost mode power will come into this heater and it'll begin to defrost this evaporator and these thermostats here they're open and closed at certain temperatures so when you're steaming a refrigerator to get the back panel off because sometimes you'll have to get your steamer out and you know thaw it out a little bit so you can get the back panel off do not uh, steam it to where you no longer have ice on here because you need to check and make sure that that defrost thermostat uh, at that certain temperature um, <clears throat> should be closed okay you can check continuity on them um, if you pull it out and uh, get it out of the cool and it's still closed well you know that you have an issue with it and what you do is you put put one lead here on your heater put another lead here I mean on, on your heater excuse me and you're gonna check continuity on it a lot of times these heaters are burnt out and that's what will cause you to have a defrost issue um, now if these fan checks out if your heater checks out if your defrost thermistor checks out and the next step is going to be in this particular model is going to be the control board because see this model here does not have a mechanical thermostat it has the digital and so this particular model has a control board in it so what I would do is I replace a control board to fix the defrost issue so if you're not getting continuity on the defrost thermostat when the thermostat is supposed to be closed, then you know that you need to replace the so thermostat. So this is how the power works, okay? 120 has to come through this closed circuit, which is your defrost thermostat. Your defrost thermostat then hooks into your heater. One lead here, and then... Where are you at? Your other lead right here your other one hooks right here okay so that's why I say don't defrost the fridge all the way because you need to set this thing back where to get cold because you know they have the uh, certain fridges have the temps on when they open and close uh, this particular one may or may not have it but it'll have it in the package but what I but this is how the power works comes through here heats your heater okay and then this this thermostat will uh once it gets to the certain point of where 
the temp has changed, it will open and therefore it is shut off to the power to the heater. Okay. Now this will uh this evaporator will freeze back up and this will close again, but your defrost timer or if you got a defrost system through your control board it has a time uh limit on it uh some of them are uh 12 8 different times but i'll go back and explain that in the next video i just want to kind of go over the basics right here on what we're looking at here and this and this this setup right here is just your common setup and your basic refrigerators. Um, GE does have thermistors. There are other ones that have thermistors. You can't test thermistors. Um, a lot of times, I just I get those two and replace them too. If we are having a uh, uh, a defrost issue or if the refrigerator is running a lot. But um, I just want to explain to you the, just this part first, and then we'll go into more on the next video series. We caught this one in time before it got real frosted up real bad, but here's a couple of pictures of uh, some defrost issues that you'll know that you have a defrost issue. These patterns will look pretty rough like this. All right, guys, I hope this helped y'all out um i do got more videos it just takes time to edit this stuff but uh the next video is going to consist of the defrost timer and the thermostats and the control board but uh, i just wanted to start out to give y'all uh, the beginning of this we're going to be breaking down more about the refrigerator and other issues they may have but i feel like that you know this is a lot of what we do is refrigerators having defrost issues but uh, I appreciate y'all subscribing. I appreciate y'all liking the videos and commenting. Uh, it really helps out. makes me want to do more of these videos because I know you guys are, are interested in doing appliance repair. But I uh, appreciate y'all tagging along, and y'all have a good night.